Saturday. I thought I'd start my vlog now for this week because oh, I've just done that thing where oh, I've got something playing on Netflix and that thing where I've muted it and not paused it so muted it so you can't hear it but obviously it's still playing and I'm missing it so yeah there's that <laughs> it's Saturday I'm just about to go out with my mum she's gonna be here in the next half an hour so I'm just sitting here chilling whilst I'm waiting for her we're gonna go to a place called Westwood Cross which is just up the road from where I live it's basically like an outdoor shopping center but there's like a retail outlet thing attached to it as well I'm gonna pop to Primark I'm gonna have some food and then we're gonna go and watch Bohemian Rhapsody at the cinema because my mum's seen it but I haven't seen it yet and I really want to I really wanted to see the Lady Gaga film because I still haven't seen that yet either but um it's not showing till 10 o'clock and I thought that was a bit late for the start of a film so yeah gonna watch Bohemian Rhapsody instead so yeah that's the plan for tonight um I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film this week for the vlog so I thought I'd start now maybe get some clips today just to add add a bit more footage to this week's vlog I'm doing a couple of things this week which I might film separately depending how much footage I get or I might just tag them into this vlog as well um I'll tell you now because you're gonna see it anyway this this video I'm getting a tattoo this week. I'm so excited. Um, it's been something that I've wanted for a very long time. I Like literally years I've really wanted it for. I've already got a tattoo at the bottom of my back, but I really wanted another one um, on my wrist. So like just a very small one on the inside of my wrist. Um, I've wanted it for ages and I couldn't decide what to have. There's been lots of different options that I've been thinking of having. Quite recently, my sister-in-law Maggie, hi Maggie if you're watching, um, said to me about getting a tattoo done because she wants one as well. And also my best friend Vicky, hi Vicky if you're watching, <laughs> said to me about getting one done as well. So I said, well, why don't the three of us go and get them done together? And that's what we're going to do. So yeah, it'll be a really nice day out as well. As I say, I'm not sure if I'm going to get enough footage to have it as a separate video or if I'm going to have to sort of, sort of tag it into this vlog. Um, even if I don't let us film in the actual studio, I might even still have it as a separate video because obviously I can show you it and chat about it and keep it separate. And then it's like a separate video for me to sort of easily be able to dig out when I want to. Monday I'm working, Tuesday we're getting tattoos done, um, Wednesday I'm working, no Wednesday I am working but I've also got a client meeting and I'm getting my hair done, getting my hair cut and coloured which is cool and exciting. Not sure what's happening Thursday yet and um, Sunday I'm working or tomorrow I'm working um, and then on Friday I'm going to a place called Chapel Down which is like a local vineyard in Kent where we actually had our wedding champagne from well not champagne but sparkling wine but we got our wedding sparkling wine which we had for our toast from Chapel Down and so Luke one of Luke's brothers has bought it for us as a wedding present to go and have a look around the vineyard get a tour do some wine tasting and then have a really nice lunch so really looking forward to that and to make make a bit more of the kind of day and the occasion we're going to stay overnight in a pub called the White Horse I think it's called I think I've got that right, hopefully I have, in Tenterden, which is close to where Chapel Down is, all in Kent still, but, you know, it's still quite away from where we live, and we thought it'd be nicer for us to stay nearer to the vineyard, then we can, obviously, we're doing wine tasting, so neither of us can actually drive anyway afterwards, um, I mean, you don't drink loads of wine when you do wine tasting, but you drink more than you should have for driving, so obviously, we don't want to drive afterwards, um, and yeah, make a bit of an occasion of it. So that would be really nice. Really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to this week. It's going to be a really good week. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to carry on watching this. Um, I'm watching this new... I don't know if I even said when I turned the camera on. But it's called The Investigator. Hang on, it's actually up on the telly right now. I'll show you it. Yeah, it's called The Investigator. It's about a lady that went missing in 1985. And um, I don't know quite what's happened yet. Because I'm only on episode two. But basically, she went missing and her husband has been arrested for it but apparently there's lots more to it that hasn't been found out i'm not really sure yet but it's really good i'm enjoying watching it so yeah i'll let you know what i think of it when i've finished it <laughs>
got makeup all over my face. Nice. It's about midnight on Saturday night. Um, I've just come back in from the cinema. We went to see Bohemian Rhapsody. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I can't remember if I did or not. Um, yeah, we went to see Bohemian Rhapsody and it was so, so good. Um, yeah, it really blew my mind actually how good that was and how good everything about it was like how the, good the production of it was but you know the actors how good um the guy who played freddie mercury how good his voice was how well he mimicked him like physically looked like him and acted like him and sounded like him and yeah it was a really 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 good film um definitely makes you think a bit more about what goes on behind the scenes with like people like that who are in the public eye you know sometimes you forget they're an actual real person and they deal with real issues and it's definitely good watching things like that to remind you that we're all just human. <laughs> we're all just human trying to get on with our lives. Some of us have to deal with more shit than others, so um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was a bit funny because, so basically, we went to the, a place called Westwood Cross. I'm really sorry if I'm saying all this again. I don't remember what I said to you earlier, but we went to a shopping centre called Westwood Cross. I wanted to pop to Primark to get a few bits. Got these pyjamas that I'm wearing now. <laughs> um... They're really cosy and wintry and Christmassy. Um, yes, yeah, so went to Primark. I wanted to get some jumpers and leggings and vests and that kind of stuff. Just like winter essentials, basically, which I got. And then we went to ask for some food. I didn't film anything in there because it was so busy. In fact, I don't think I filmed anything all night, actually. You might have a few clips that you might have already seen. We kind of shouldn't have done that because what ended up happening was we were sitting and asked like just before seven and the film, I'd, I'd, I'd actually booked tickets for the film because it was really popular. So I'd booked tickets the other day and it wasn't until nine. So we'd had our meal and it was it was seven o'clock. We had two hours to like do something. It's been a really cold day today, a really cold evening. So we couldn't even go for a walk and where the um, ask and the cinema and stuff is, there isn't really a lot there once the shops are shut anyway. Like you can't really just walk around there i mean you could in the summer just for something to do but because it's so cold tonight we were like what should we do and my mum suggested that we go to the bingo i really enjoyed it i thought it was really funny i don't know how impressed my mum was with it but i thought it was really funny uh, we didn't win anything though so that wasn't that great but um yeah it was i think it's probably quite a good night out if there's a group of you going having a few drinks maybe having some food or you go after you've eaten maybe because i don't know how good the food is in there but um yeah, I don't know. I think it sounds like quite a fun night. But anyway, we enjoy we enjoyed it. I enjoyed it anyway. Um, I think she did as well. And then we went and watched the film after that. So she picked me up about half four today. So we've been out for quite a long time. It's like, what is the time? Oh, it's quarter to one. I didn't realise it was that late. It's quarter to one. Just giving me cause some food. Um, so yeah. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to update you that I just thought the film was really amazing. Really, really good. Um, really blew my expectations of what I you know like I was I don't know what I was expecting I mean people that I know have seen it so it's good so obviously I assumed it would be good but you know in the comments below if you've seen it and what you thought and yeah I think I'm just gonna have a cup of tea then I'm gonna go to bed that's it come is this one look yeah oh, <laughs> We've just come to my mum's house because we brought Mika to have a little holiday because um, we are staying away on Friday as I mentioned yesterday we're going to Chapel Down so we've come here to have dinner I'm picking us some social mash now and we have also brought her to stay here for a week and um, she used to live here with me like years ago so she does know the house so we thought it'd be quite nice for her to have a little bit of a holiday whilst we're away and then she's looked after as well and we don't need to worry about getting someone in to come and feed her or anything so yeah that's what we do basically Mika just been having a little wander around haven't you just remembering everything been remembering it all she's found her food although the bowl's empty Sounds so cool in here when it's raining. <sighs> Hello, it's Monday. I'm just, just as you can see, just in my office at my desk. I'm doing quite a few different bits and bobs actually. I'm just going through my to-do list and sort of um, smashing out the things I need to get done today. I need to do some client work as well, which I'm going to get onto in a sec. But I've just been doing lots of different to-do so far. 
and it's actually already quarter to three. I don't know how, how the time goes so quickly, it's mental. But yeah, anyway, just thought I'd share with you the, uh, the rain because it's really cool. I love it when it's like that. Salmon and vegetable stir fry for dinner. Yum, yum. Hello, it's currently quarter past nine on Monday. I was gonna say Tuesday then, it's definitely not Tuesday already. It's quarter past nine on Monday. I'm just chilling on the sofa watching I'm a Celebrity. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of work upstairs today because as I mentioned on Saturday I don't have that many days in the office this week so I wanted to kind of make the most of the days I do have so I've been doing quite a lot today. Um, I've got bits planned in, work bits planned in for Wednesday now so I'm not going to be having my hair cut. I can't, can't remember if I even told you that but I had planned to have my hair cut and coloured on Wednesday but that's not happening now because... I've got this job that I need to do so I've booked in to do the job and um, move my hair appointment to next week. It's literally my worst nightmare. Oh my god, that poor girl. That's probably what's annoying about a hardcore tattoo person. Yeah. It's trendy and it must be a bit annoying. Yeah. Stupid little tattoo. earlier today I had a tattoo today that's just I don't know I keep thinking oh my god I've had a tattoo I mean I have already got a tattoo but I've got a different new additional tattoo Are you focusing oh there we go there we go there it is there's my new tattoo it's a lotus flower I think that's gonna work I was trying to um put you on top of a lemsit box and use get a bit shaky. The reason I wanted a lotus flower and the reason why I really like them is one they look really beautiful, I love the shape of them, I love that they're just essentially one, well this particular one of mine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like petals just all intertwined. I love, I just think they're really beautiful, really lovely shape um, and I love the fact that kind of meaning behind them is that because they bloom from mud is that kind of, you know, whatever happens in your life, however bad things get, however hard a time you're having, you're always going to be okay, you're always going to bloom, you're always going to blossom, you're always going to be alright. And I really like that. And every time I look at it, and every time I look or think of lotus flowers, it's just, a, I don't know, it just makes you feel quite positive and happy. And it's just, it's just nice. I like it. We went to Maidstone to get them done, had a couple of coffees, had some nice lunch, had a little walk around the shops, and then come back. And I went around Vicky's house for a little while afterwards. So I didn't end up getting back home here till about seven. And I really wanted to edit the tattoo video because I wanted to get it up for tomorrow night, which will be Wednesday, which you would have seen by the time this has gone up anyway, because it's going up tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Okay, click that link above and you'll see us actually getting them done. So yeah, anyway, I'm just about to make hot chocolate. Hi, it's Wednesday, it's 10 past five. I've been working in here, in the office in here all day. Um, and my eyes have basically gone square because I've been doing a particular job. I'm out of breath now, I've just like run up the stairs. I've been doing a particular job like all day long, so I've got really square eyes, literally. Um, I'm feeling really shattered actually. I didn't sleep very well last night again. So that's like three nights in a row now where I haven't gone to sleep till like four. And three nights in a row where I've had to get up early as well, so I've not even had a chance to kind of catch up. Which is good anyway, I don't want to be like sleeping in till later or anything like that because you know I actually want to get into a routine but yeah I really have struggled today to like stay awake because I am shattered but anyway I don't want to keep banging on about that. Um, yeah so I've been doing a job all day today, just finished it. I'm going to edit the vlog now for the week so far like this vlog that you're watching because I'm quite behind on that I haven't really had a chance to do any of it this week 
So I'm going to do that because I want to get it edited, like a final edit and uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night because I'm away all day on Friday. Well, I'm out all day on Friday, going to chapel down with Luke and then we're staying away on Friday night. I won't have a chance to do any editing on Friday or Friday evening so I need to do it tomorrow night and I don't want to leave it all to do tomorrow night and end up working till late and then not having time to get everything ready for Friday. Anyway, to cut a long, very babbly story short, I'm just about to edit the vlog and then I think I'm gonna have a bath because I am shattered. I'm not supposed to because of my tattoo. Oh, there, he, there she is. Um, but I will, and I'll just make sure I don't like, have my arm like soaking the whole time because I just really want a bath. <laughs> so yeah, fingers crossed. You're not supposed to, I don't think. But if I keep my arm out the water and don't like actually soak my arm, it should be okay, hopefully. Hello, I've just got in the car as you can see. Um, I'm just about to go to see my client and um, we're just going to chat about her website stuff today. And I think I'm going to end my vlog here because I don't really have anything else to film this week. Um, tomorrow we'll start, either start a new vlog or be its own video. I haven't decided yet. Thank you so much for watching this week. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to the link below so you don't miss out on future videos and I shall see you next week. Bye!